Welcome, I'm Connor, this is Andrew. Hi. This is Did You Know What Dutch? We're talking about openers for Seedmaster and John Deere P600 drills today. Right on, so I'm gonna start with our two piece offerings. Uh, I'll start with the seed here. So it comes with a body and a tip, goes in with a roll pin. You got carbides on front and back and a bead of hard surfacing down the middle just for extended wear. Carbide on the back is nice because as that steel inevitably wears out, it makes sure that that furrow stays open that full half inch. And then with our fertilizer option, we got a body again, and then we got two different tip options. This guy here is a little sharper attack angle, straight up and down. This one here matches the OEM geometry, so it's a little more forward swept. This guy, it's gonna penetrate the ground a little bit easier, but it is gonna pick a few more rocks in the straight up and down one. So we probably have a fairly healthy mix between the two in our sales mix. Uh, it just depends what's right for your operation. Now on these tips as well, we overhang the front carbide a 16th of an inch for extended wear. Again, another hard, hard surfacing bead, and then the half inch flush carbide on the back. Again, just to keep that furrow open the full half inch and make sure all your product gets down to the bottom of the furrow where it's meant to be. Newly, we've come out with uh, OEM straight replacements. So we've got both a fertilizer and a seed knife. Uh, we do take a similar idea where we do a slightly thicker, slightly wider carbide on the bottom of both openers to get some more life out of them. They're also priced fairly well. That guy's also made out of hardened steel compared to the mild steel of the OEM opener. So uh, uh, just another thing for life. Uh, now we also have an inline set up for the Seedmaster. Uh, we had her for the Hawk and it, it did really, really well. So we decided to do it for Master as well. Now the engineering behind it was a little tougher. So uh, instead of just being an adapter that goes onto the existing packer arm, you got to replace the whole seed arm. So everything that's black in this guy is the replacement tip and I guess the adapter we'll call it. So once you have her on there though, it uh, it'll help if you have any trash problems at all and uh, puts everything right in line. So the clumping and dumping goes away. Uh, you can throw a paired row tip on the back, just like this row unit has, or we also have sideband options. This guy is steel, this guy is cast. Um, not, a, not a ton of performance difference between the two. The steel is a little wider, so if you got bigger seeds or you're worried about bridging, it might be the, the move for you. This guy looks a little sleeker. It's also a little bit more affordable. So, And these aren't all of our options. Uh, if you're interested at all, give one of our territory managers a call and we'll come to the farm, show you what we have, talk you through all of our options. We're always working on something new. Stay tuned for new releases. And this wraps up this episode of Did You Know What Dutch? Dutch agriculture, on farm for you.